It was just a few days after the horrific Lag Ba'imer in Miron, where 45 beautiful neshamas ascended to Shamaim. All of Klal Yisrael was in such pain and in trauma. There was a Hasidish yeshiva in Eretz Yisrael where the Anhala realized that the Bahram, they just couldn't get back to themselves. They were distracted, they were emotionally hurting, and the Anhala decided we have to do something to help the Bahram. And they came up with the following strategy. They compiled a list of almost 50 different areas in Yiddishkeit that these boys could work on. And they asked every Bachar to be Mikabel, one small but tangible Kabbalah, and do it Le'ilu'i Nishmas, these 45 Nishams. Hopefully, it would bring them some sense of Nechama. The list was very long. Ritzufus, learning consecutive, davening with extra Kavana, Shmir Salash, and Kavana by Brachas. But one of the items on the list of 50 Kabbalahs was Shmir Sinai. One young Chassidah Shabachar was looking at the list. There were so many things there that he knew he had to work on. But then he saw Shmir Sinai and he said to himself, I've never really worked on Shmir Sinai. Maybe now is a good time to start. He filled out the card. He was in the on himself, Shemir Sinai. And that very day, he began to be more careful what he looked at and where he went. Just a few days later, one of his friends suggested that he attend the incredible Chanukah Sabayis of the beautiful brand new Karlin Stalin Beis Medrash in Givat Zev. He was excited and he said, sure, let's do it. And the day before Shavuos, they traveled to Givat Zev. They came to the Tish where there were thousands of people and they climbed to the top of one of the bleachers so they could get an excellent view of the Rebbe, of the celebration of the proceedings. Sadly, just a few minutes into the Tish, there was a terrible commotion as one complete section of the bleachers collapsed. This Bachar, who was all the way at the top, was thrown violently from the top, and he struck something on the way down. He was rushed to the hospital with terrible swelling around one of his eyes, and the doctors feared that he would lose his sight or maybe even his eye. Yet miraculously, within 12 hours, the swelling had subsided, and Baruch Hashem, his eye was okay and his vision was intact. The doctors shared that had he come in contact with the object that hit him, had it been one millimeter closer, Rahman al he would definitely have lost his eyesight, perhaps even his eye. Remarkable. He was Shaymer his Einayim, and the Rabbanu Shalaylam was also Shaymer his Einayim. He was careful with what he looked at, and the Rabbanu Shalom protected those eyes. And this is an incredible story, but what's more incredible is that he was literally just a few days, maybe a week, into being more careful with Shmir Sinai. And that created enough schus, enough merit for the Rabban Shlom to intervene and to be Shemir his eye and to watch his eye. You know, we're only a few weeks into this Vayimayin initiative of people trying to be more careful with Shmir Sinai. But the results have been staggering. Refuas, Yeshuas, Parnasa, Shaduchim, Shalom Bayis. Let's all try to be macabre on ourselves, even just for a short period of time, to be Shoimer Inayim, to elevate our level of Kedusha. And if we're Shoimer Arinayim, Emir Tashem, the Rabban Shem, will give us incredible Shmirah.